Y'all saw the most heartbreaking thing at my son's football game this past week. There was a little boy there who wanted his father to be there. And for whatever reason, his dad couldn't make it. And for the rest of the game, he just could not focus, you guys. He was so upset that he ran off onto the sidelines and he had to vomit. He got physically ill because he wanted his dad to show up and his dad could not show up. Now, I don't know this man, I don't know this little boy. I just watched it unfold, right? And it just put in my mind how serious it is affecting our children when they have half of their chromosomes missing from their lives. And we expect them to be able to function and keep going. We expect them to be able to ignore their needs, right? Um, to make us feel comfortable. And then when the absent parent shows back up in their life, we expect them to be grateful and, you know, act like everything was okay. But when you're there and you're able to see the impact that the absence has on them, if it doesn't do something to your heart, I don't know what to say. I just wanted to scoop him up and just put him in my pocket. I really did. It was really heartbreaking to see. So we just have to do better as a community, as individuals. We have to pick up the, pick up the pieces that have been left behind in these broken homes. So if you see a child that needs some help and you're not a pervert and you know their family, step in and do what you can. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. That's it. That's my two cents. Take it or leave it. It's free.